questions, this will be great. I sent you a link. Uh, we've got a, a library guide uh, that has a lot of information, probably too much information about ebooks. Um, so you might want to take a look at that. But I'm going to keep it really simple. Um, let me just before I before I forget, um, we do have another webinar coming up on February 10th. Uh, you can see here on our, our uh, workshops page, the library workshops page, John Kramer, uh, John Boyd, and Beth Kramer are going to be spending more time talking about ebooks and uh, our OverDrive ebooks uh, and other books that can be downloaded in their entirety. Uh, so that's pretty cool, but I kind of wanted to just address a much uh, more modest, easy use of ebooks. So, um, um, okay, let me go back and uh, just uh, say, yeah, I think ebooks are a nuisance. I'm responsible for buying a lot of them and leasing a lot of them, um, and I think there are ways they can be used that work pretty well um, without a lot of trouble, without a new password, without a new account. So. Um, Let's see. Uh, we're going to look at three kinds of ebooks that you'll see a lot in our catalog. One of them is eBrary, one of them is EBSCO, and the last one is uh, Safari ebooks. Uh, and we're going to look at three ways to use them. And one is just a quick look at, you know, can you read this online? Uh, that's not always possible. Uh, can you link to the page and save it for later or to put in a citation? Uh, for say a chapter, and I think what's most important is how do you download a chapter, a chapter or two, uh, you know, a few pages. How do you save a chunk so you can read later when you're not online, not necessarily online. So um, I've kind of got some screenshots made up, um, and I'm going to go through it real quick, and then we're going to I'm going to go back and go live. And uh, I think one way to do this is if you bring up a couple of windows. Um, you can uh, follow me and then maybe also do it yourself. But for right now, I'm just going to go through this real quick. I have uh, I did a search on contested illnesses. Uh, um, maybe, of course, I'm thinking you go to our catalog and you're searching on a topic maybe, or maybe a title or an author, but maybe just on a topic and you start seeing a lot of ebooks. Uh, so here I have uh, three versions of the same ebook. Um, and it's a little hard to tell the difference among them. Uh, one thing I do want to really note is the top one says single user, so that means only one person at a time can use that book, which is a little bit of a problem, especially if there were a bunch of us right now trying to access it at the same time. Uh, let's uh, pretend like I clicked on one version of the book, and I, this is uh, maybe what it looked like. I've uh, navigated maybe using the panel, the table of contents on the left, but I've opened up the book and I've navigated to chapter seven, and um, I've got a green arrow here on chapter download, and usually if you click on that button, you can download a chapter in almost no time, it's kind of as if you were getting a, a journal article. Uh, another thing that's important is the paper clip over here, and that will give you a link, which you'll have to copy, maybe into your citation, or um, maybe as an email, but in some way, you know, you can save, and the link that's produced will go to this page. Uh, also, this book is an eBrary book, and it's, I think it's pretty good. They just redesigned it. I think it's pretty good for scrolling through and just reading online. Um, another one not so good for uh, reading online, I was just telling my colleague how you got to click a button, it never fits your page, and, and if you do get it to fit, you have to click a button to go to the next page, and uh, you have to click a button for every page you want to go to, and it takes a while to load. But, you see my arrows on the save page, you can click on that and save a chapter or some, some series of pages pretty easily. By the way, usually when you uh, do this, you're, you have a 60 page limit. Uh, and sometimes it's lower. I've, I've actually seen higher too, but um, that's usually what I'm expecting a reader to use in these books. But it is not impossible that you might be able to get more pages. Uh, maybe using a different computer, maybe coming back another day. I haven't fully tested all that, but you know I've had some good luck uh, just fooling around. Uh, also, permalink the paperclip again on this interface that will give you a link to chapter seven right here. And by the way, you can see you can, well I cut it off, but I navigated using the table of contents, or somehow I got to chapter seven, and that made this button and this button uh, useful. Um, 
for those for that chapter. Uh, okay, and finally, uh, we have a lot of safari books, um, and a lot of them are on tech uh, topics, uh, software. I see a lot for physics, but there's some kind of fun stuff too. This is from a book on uh, beer uh, that we'll take another look at in a minute. And uh, this book does not allow you to download anything, uh, maybe a page at a time. Uh, but you definitely can't download like a 20 page chapter. But it is uh, pleasant for scrolling reading. And it also has, I've got the arrow pointing at the URL button, so you can save that. Uh, again, you can save it for use of later. You can save it to a citation, something like that. Okay, well, now I'm going to go live, uh, unless there are any questions. And we're done talking about the workshops. And I sent you the link to this guide, uh, so I'm going to get rid of that now, I think. Um, and let, let me also just say um, you can search. I'm kind of thinking you're going to be searching on your topic or something here or here. Uh, here is really nice. This interface gives you a really easy way to narrow down to your books, but that's not necessarily what people are doing when they're looking. You know, they're not always looking for just ebooks. So, um, so let me go here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and search for that one book, uh, Contested Illnesses. We'll come back to beer in a minute. And I get this. Uh, that we saw before. Uh, now we have live links. Uh, one thing I don't really expect my users to do, but if you hover on the links, it'll tell you down in the bottom. Well, it says EBSCO in that case, eBury in that case. Um, let's go ahead and open up. Uh, this is a problem one because it's a single user. It turns out this is eBury also, but I have to click in through here, and then I get a link to eBury. So here, I can either click on the ch sections of the book here, or I can go to read online. Let's just go down here, and uh, let's do chapter six this time. OK, and so that was pretty quick. And I'm not really this fast a reader. But you can see that's not too unpleasant the way they redesigned this. Well, it's loading pretty slowly. But not a bad reading experience online. So I recommend that. I think I lost my first page of the chapter, but let me just navigate back. Chapter 6. Again, I can go to the paperclip. I can copy that. Um, and finally, the second button, chapter download. Um, this is actually a little bit of gonna be a little bit of a problem. I didn't mean to start with this one. But um, I'm going to continue, and something's wrong. And I can tell you what the problem is. Um, this book has four parts, and that's what it's trying to copy, part two. So in this case, I'm not going to be able to easily uh, get this chapter that way. So what I'm going to do is look page 79 through... This is a little more trouble than I want it to be. Through 107, and I'm going to go back. Most of the time, you should not have to do this. Apologize for it. But if you've got a complex uh, structure to the con table of contents, you will definitely see that. So I got in the right page numbers, I hope. And I can open up the PDF version and save it, just like I would an article that I've gotten from a journal. I'm going to not do it. Uh, I'm going to save the time here. But uh, I, could, I would usually open it in Acrobat and then save it that way. So that's, that's one way to do it. Um, let's see. Um, let, so let's go back. Um, and I'll show you the same, uh, it'll, it'll look the same if I go here, uh, it's the same eBury interface, it's just limited to one user. If I go here, I get EBSCO. Uh, again, this book is really lousy for, um, for reading online. Let's go to chapter 7, uh, and there's also, there's several ways to navigate. Um, I don't think that's much of a problem 
but um, you know you always have this table of contents on the left here. Um, but let me just show you. If I try to scroll down because it doesn't quite fit the page, uh, I, when I go to the next page, you know I have to scroll down again. That combination it's it's really irritating. Uh, but uh, I'm pretty happy because I can go to permalink and save it. And I can also go here, or I can email here, which is nice. But save pages, and this section, 15 pages, that's what I'm looking for. So it's actually a little smarter this way than eBrary, the other interface. And open Acrobat, and uh, it'll open up as a, a, a PDF, and I can save it and for reading later. And of course, I could do this for several chapters up to that 60-page limit. Uh, so that's uh, two of the books. Um, that's two of the uh, packages that I wanted to show you. Uh, again, let me just go back. <laughs> no, that's not the message I want. And uh, EBSCO, there's the Save Pages button. And in the eBrary, there's the Chapter Download button, the second one from the left there at the top. So I think that's pretty easy. Uh, let's go to, let's see. Do beer is proof. Another but a little lighter topic this time. By the way, there are two books here. This top one seems to be a subset in Safari of this larger book, which is unusual. I'm just going to skip over it otherwise. But if you're following along, um, here's a message to connect full text and Safari books. And again, there's pretty easy table of contents. Uh, I don't know where I want to go. But let's just go, uh, looks good, tastes good. And the chapter or the section looks like this. It's not very long, but it, in any case, it's easy to scroll through. And then I could click here and go to the next chapter. But um, there's no way to save a section or a chapter as with the other books. But the uh, scrolling online reading is pretty good. And if you Click on the URL button here. This will give you a link that will go to that page. So if you were going to cite this, I'm sure you're going to want to cite this chapter in one of your papers. You could uh, do your regular citation, but if you want to include a, a, a URL, here it is. Or if you want to just use that to navigate back. So I'm talking really fast. I haven't gotten any questions. Uh, I, that's everything I wanted to show. Um, if there are any questions, uh, I'm ready to, or problems, maybe if you're following along, uh, I'd be interested to hear. Um, my colleague uh, Kelly uh, is going to take a look at uh, the recording for this, and it might be posted online. Again, there'll be other uh, workshops, uh, longer workshops, but if you want to contact me or Beth and John, we can uh, often make time to, um, we can make an appointment to um, you know, help you through whatever problem, setting things up. So in addition to the workshops, we do one-to-one uh, -one or small group consultations.